Alrighty. Last. Second to wait, no. Uh yeah, yeah, second to last. Second to last. Uh, we're missing a viper. Hell yeah. Chip press? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we're probably gonna do a pull, so I'm just gonna set up. Oh hey, look guys, we have we have amplifier this time. Wow. <laughs> what a strange thing. <laughs> what a strange, strange thing. <laughs> oh, pfft. uh, you saw nothing? I love paladins. <laughs> Gang, dude. Create a wee window. Boom. Beautiful. By the way, in the simplest terms, um, a weave window is when you do an instant of any sort, right? Uh, because you have those two point, I think two point five seconds to get right back into doing something else, and because it's something that you can do as an off global cooldown, meaning that you can do something within those two. Uh, that's 2.5 seconds. That is called a weave. And, uh, the weave window is when you do anything instant. So, what I did there was I used the Thunder, the Thunder 4 from Thunderhead, and then went right into Triple Cast because that is an ability, which is an off global for them. So same here, I'm going to create this window, right, with the thunder to go right into the mana font and come right back out. It, it's, it's not necessary, but it does feel good when you do it proper. Um, like, the, the smoothness of the animations feels right. Um, I don't know if that would be considered, like, super, like, min-maxy. Uh, but you don't, it's not a thing you have to do. It is just a thing that I wanted to explain because I've said it multiple times and I realized that I hadn't explained it. I go back and I watch my videos um, sometimes and uh, I just want to make sure that if this is supposed to be like a learn with me, follow along kind of set of things, um, 
that it's exactly that is that when I'm explaining something or when I'm saying certain words that it makes sense to everyone. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, you saw nothing. Oh my god. That was so bad. That was so dumb. <laughs> Uh, if you didn't notice it, um, I used Amplifier while I had two full charges, and it was in the middle-ish, so I didn't need to do any of that. I could have honestly prepped for, to do, like, three. Amplifier, four. I could have had four Xenoglosses go out in the same same time, but it was it was dead anyway, so I wasn't really too worried about it. But still, I'm a dummy. Weak. Um, I think I said this already, but if you if you if you've noticed, I, I stand close to the party. I don't stand as far unless I actually like pit myself somewhere. Plant pit, whatever you want to call it. Um, because one heals, like some healers have things like cure three, and cure three is really really good if needed, um, or just in general, just just AOE healing will hit you. Rather than being far away. Two, if you pull, the tank is right there. Uh, so, realistically, if you're close already, you really shouldn't be pulling. Uh, because the tank is going to be doing AOE damage. Um, and I, I don't really have a third reason. But it's just something I'm used to doing nowadays. Um... Oh, I guess, yeah, I got another one. For the boss, if it does, like, an, an AoE, yeah, that sucks. But if it does a close-up, you don't have to run and or move. Um, not even as much, just at all. But also, if it does, like, a cone, you just shift left to right because you're at the smaller sides of the cone, if that makes sense. I'm not going to amplifier here. I have three things. I have my ley lines, I have my mana font, and I have amplifier up. So we'll just hold on to that for this boss and we will just absolutely decimate this boss. Eight seconds, I got one more fire four in there. Cool. So we're gonna be able to have two, um, two polyglots at the start of this fight. So we'll just start with them. Honestly, there's no need for me to. There we go. Now fire. It is really nice that I can just start like that. Yeah, see, so, like, I'm close, and it's going to do an inhale. And I think we want to be behind it. So. Yeah, that's a frontal thing. Okay. So I could have stayed where I was. That's fine. Front side over here should be fine. Nope, oh, I don't know why I did that. Oops, that's my bad. I still have to figure out how I feel about overwriting uh, such an early. Um, 
Fletch under the Thunder, but it should be fine. I'm gonna be on this side. There you go. Easy enough. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Um, I also haven't discussed what we got at 88. Did we? I cannot. No. You take me so we get it no. Why the hell? You know what? It's fine. And then, uh, with some of the changes to Paradox, we're actually going to learn that together for a bit. Um, I have to make a video on that, but I have to first go smack something. Uh, I will be in a queue during that, so if the queue pops first, then you will know, because I would say so, in the next video. But, uh, during that time, I will be practicing. I need to understand a little bit more because I believe both paradoxes are now instant cast. Before they used to be um, only only ice paradox, ice docs I like to call it, ice and fire docs, um, respectively. I like to, or I remember that the ice, whoops, the ice one was the instant one, but now. And I and and Ice Docs also refreshes your stance. And now we have Fire Docs is also instant. Guarantees a Fire Star proc, which gives incredible uptime. And a rotation not will drastically change, but we'll have more timer, basically. We'll have like an extra 1.5-ish seconds, I think. Um, and we'll have movement if we absolutely need to, and recovery for fire instead of just, um, uh, what's it called? Instead of just blizzard stance, which is good. Or ice stance, yeah, whatever. Um, and I mean, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, and the way you accomplish them is, guess what? Rotating. Is, is stance changing. I think they changed it to where you have to have all... Oh, here we go. I will have the time and tranquility um... And I think they changed it to where you have to have all three stacks, but that's not really a problem anymore because you don't really do transpose lines or whatever the hell it's called, but you would transpose and do some finicky shit with it. I don't exactly remember. I never did it. Oh, we need to go here. We don't mind. Oh no. The Piper's down. No. See, like, instead of me sitting there casting a fire, I would do something called the Paradox, right? Or the Fire Dox, or something like to call it. And it would guarantee me the ability to do that, which I just did.
And that paired with, with a mana font, man, that's, wow, that's gonna feel really great. Dude, 90 Black Mage is gonna feel really good. Really, really good. Because now I'll have the ability to just do instant cast um, fires. Like, twice hold. I will have two sets of them. Also, Mana Font will give us a Paradox stack. So, <laughs> so like... That's really cool. Ooh, that's gonna be really tight. Okay, good. I think I'm gonna do the thing where I prep it here. One. Two. Oh shit! Oh, they were. I'm dumb. I'm a dumbass. That's not gonna work. Yep, I screwed up. Okay, I need to do a blizzard. Alright, let's see how this recovery goes. We have that. We have one of those. Do one more of these. Let's get this going. Okay. That was dumb on my part. In every which way. I was trying to process the uh, attack, but I didn't properly. I forget how I did that before. I know it's just like stand on one side and then cross over. And I think I didn't. I think that was what I was supposed to do. I just didn't do it. Alright, and that is gonna be the Ketisis Harperborea. Harperborea. I don't know how to say it. Good tech. Good tech. I, okay. Alright, well. That's gonna be that. I'm gonna upload this immediately, and I will see y'all in the next video. We will be discussing, um... Paradox more in depth as we go through and if I feel that that doesn't quite capture how level 90 black mage works I probably will just make a video on things to consider and stuff like that and hopefully it's helpful um, Things that I've, I've, I've learned uh, with the new black mage. So yeah, hope to see y'all later and uh, Hope you enjoyed and uh, yes, see you in the next video